नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स मंगेश मैथामेजिकल ट्रेडिंग में आपका स्वागत है टुडे इज ट्वेंटी एट ऑफ फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर टूडे मार्ट मार्केट वॉज स्लगिश इफ यू कुड सी नाउ लेट एस सी बैंक निफ्टी सी दिस इज द ओपनिंग कैंडल नाइन फिफ्टीन कैंडल फ्रॉम नाइन फिफ्टीन ऑलमोस्ट टू टेन फोर्टी फाइव एक्सैक्टली वन आवर थर्टी मिनिट मार्केट वॉज स्लगिश not very much up not very much down i mean a trend was not easily identifiable this was nifty now let us see i mean sorry this is bank nifty now let us see nifty so is the case with nifty right say this is 915 candle and then precisely up to the same time 1040 1045 one and a half hour the trend was almost a range bound a slightly up a slightly down in such scenario people tends to get confused what would be the trend exactly we have to utilize this very trend for hedging always remember you cannot do hedging means buying call and put long straddle not short straddle straddle is a peculiar term when you buy call and put both together that is straddle but long straddle means you buy call you buy put short straddle means you sell call you sell put we are not into shorting it attracts it requires a lot of capital within that capital it is my belief that it is always better to go in future because the capital that is required for selling one particular lot of you know Uh, naked uh, so i am talking about na naked one lot of option and to sell a future is almost the same plus in future suppose you sell then whatever is the falling number by that multiply by 15 or 50 in whichever uh, uh, you know index you are trading that is your profit but in case you sell the the option its maximum delta is 0.6 means if it falls by 100 point you will be gaining 60 points so as it is there is no sense according to me you may think i am wrong that is your uh, belief now what i am sharing is my belief so usually i do not sell i do not advocate of selling so option buying is the only option we the middle class people we have got limited risk unlimited profit and whenever remember whenever market is in a narrow range or a sideway market there is always a possibility of hedging okay now as usual up till now you all are familiar that i select the strike price closest to the close of first 5 minute so 22204 was the close of first 5 minute candle that is which started at 915 and closed at roughly around 920 see this Twenty-two thousand two hundred and four. Okay, let's start with Nifty, and that is why I selected twenty-two thousand two hundred call and twenty-two thousand two hundred put. Now you you could see two lines. Whenever see where the lines are drawn, how the lines are drawn, that cannot be disclosed. See, see everyone has got a trade secret. It is just a belief. if it develops further if it strengthen further then only you would probably wish to know what it is all about okay there you must have seen so many youtube so many videos okay but my forte has been without indicator purely on the basis of maths i have standardized the whole process step 1 this step 2 this step this this step 1 is simple see the close of first 5 minute candle step 2 select the strike price closest to the 5 minute step 3 swap swap it simple something high something low from call to put from put to call and then wait for the target of 26.1150 or 73.89 now it's as simple there is no secret as such okay so now which lines are these i mean everything cannot be you know explain in a 15 minutes video See whatever I have learned, whatever I have developed in twelve years, it's simply not possible 
to understand in 15 minutes. Okay. Just see the method, whether it works or not. So this was the market. Now it's a common sense. If call is below, put has to be above. Or if put is, put is, uh, you know, say above, call has to be below. But whenever market is in a narrow range and in a sideways trend, then you will see this is upper line of call. This is lower line of put 120.60, 93.90. 90, and this is upper line of put 122.40. This is lower line of call 94.30. Whenever both are at or below the lower line at the same time. See, this is confirmed, right? You see, I mean, market started over here. You got many uh, occasions. Now see, the low of this candle is 9170. See, see, see on call side, 9170. And now see on put side, 90.45. So on same candle, you were getting call and put below 93.90 for call and 94.30 for put. You have seen this. See, see it, you know, back one more time. The low is 9170 means your order of 9390 is triggered and see it over here. The low is 90.45 means your order of 9430 is triggered. Together, your one call and one price, one uh, put, equal number of call and put you have to buy would have been 556.20. Okay, 556.20. Okay. Okay. Sorry, uh, 93, 93, sorry. It's a mistake. I wanted to start from Bank Nifty, but now we have started from Nifty. 93, 90, 94, 30, 188.20. Okay, see it back again, 188.20. This is Nifty. This is Nifty. 93, 90, 94, 30. I've just... Added this to 93, 90, 94, 30, 188, 20. So at 188, 20, your call are executed. I mean, your trade have been executed. Now see, there is one whole day for expiry. Tomorrow is the day of the uh, say of the expiry. The call and put they are of the same price, 22,200. So within a day, means today's day and tomorrow's day, it is highly unlikely that for two days, Nifty will stand still at 22,200. It will definitely take a course either today or tomorrow. So in case of a hedging, means buy one call, one put market, whenever it takes a trend, you are going to make a killing. And that is what happened. You see, now just see, I mean, rather than all these things, 216 and 38, 254. At 11 o'clock, what I was getting, 254, you know, you know, while my investment was 188. If you had waited further, because market was falling further. Now, why, how you could understand market is falling further? I have already made a videos. It's simple. Nifty first candle low minus 0 0.2611. Once that is broken, you get a bigger rally. I've posted this video a couple of months back. You all have liked it. So remember that a big movement, first candle low minus 0 0.2611. You are going to get a big move. And you got as a bonus as hedging. You see. And see the last. Had you waited till last? I mean, just a... 315, see the price, 317. Even the last candle, see the last candle. 317, 50 and 13. 331. The closure is 331. And your buying price would have been 188. Huge profit, huge profit. The same condition was in Bank Nifty today. See again, the Bank Nifty first candle closes 46,597. Naturally, the strike that we will select is 46,600. These are 46,600 call and put. You could see it. See, there are two lines. When both of them, they are below. I mean, this is absolutely simple. See this. I mean, see this even. 
the low of this candle is 266, which is well below 286 call I'm talking about. And on put side, the low is 243, which is well below 270. Both at the same time. I am not calculating this. I am just roughly calculating. I am just considering the price of or the value of lower lines. So 286.20 and 270. 286.20, 270. Together it is 556. One single lot. See the, the, the capacity of money. See, not more than 8,500 rupees for one lot. 15 quantity. And then see your 556 became, see this, 782 plus 70. 860. On last day it is, just see, 860 plus, almost 896. 896 and your investment was 556. Almost 70%. So this is absolutely simple trades, hedging without any fear. What is the prerequisition? It is market should be range bound for at least one hour. See, this was for one hour, 30 minutes. And then both are below swapping lines. You have to buy, nothing to worry. And last but most important, today should not be the day of expiry. Had it been on Thursday, that means today, I would not have recommended this strategy. Why? Because simple, throughout the day, Nifty can remain in a short range of 50 point. In that case, both call and put will deteriorate. One will become zero. One will just remain some 10 to 12 points. So you will face loss from both the sides. So when this sort kind of trades one can take place is also important. You can take hedging up to 1040 on the day of expiry. Remember this, 10.40 on the day of expiry, not afterwards. On any other day, anytime you can take. Now we got this early in the morning. Suppose you get sometimes in the in the uh, you know afternoon, you can carry forward this trade to the next day. Because this is hedge. Whatever may happen, your position is hedged. You are not a seller. There is no risk whatsoever. Okay. And the best logic is both call and put are of same price. In one day, whichever way a big move comes, you will make profit. Okay. So thanks for joining. Below is the mention of the link of my telegram. Uh, you can join the telegram. You get many, you get the levels beforehand, before the market starts. The levels do a fantabulous job. I mean, and... Uh, you could go and check the levels when the levels were broken market gave a very good return okay thank you thanks for watching see you soon bye bye